Good morning, everybody. DC here. It's the 11th of the 3rd, 2020. And have I got something for you today. Um, what I've got for you today involves Tesla's Ether, Faraday's Paradox, and Fields in the Ether. And the thing that I've got for today is something profound. For me, it's profound anyway. Um, this may have been discovered before. I don't, can't find anywhere on the net where I've seen this before. But the new discovery is um, the, the magnetic field reaction from the ether. Um, if you've been watching my uh, other videos, uh, particularly the Faraday Paradox, uh, which I think everybody knows that uh, about the Faraday Paradox, and I wasn't able to generate any voltage, any extra voltage from my little machine on the bench. But today, I've come up with a very, very simple, very basic experiment, which proves that there is Nikola Tesla's ether, without shadow of doubt. So, um, we'll go and have a look at what's, um, what's going on. Um, You've got my old machine here, which is um, a machine that I was demonstrating um, the Faraday Paradox. You might just see a, <clears throat> a tube here, a circular fluorescent tube, because I was exper uh, I was experimenting and still I'm experimenting with plasma, plasma and the magnetic fields interaction. But today, on the bench here, oh, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Um, we, we've got a magnet here, which is just an ordinary magnet. It's similar to the ones from, from here, which are north-south. It's about a uh, three-inch magnet uh, with about a one-inch hole in the, in the, in the centre. And that's what, that's what all that's here is that magnet. I've got a copper coil which is strapped onto the magnet. And then what I've done is I've taken a wire from the copper coil well, there's two ends to the copper coil, and I've connected it here and here to the, to the copper coil, a piece of just ordinary copper wire. And this copper wire goes down this rope, which this rope is connected to the magnet. So that's all we've got, very simple. It's a rope, a nylon rope with a copper wire attached to it, attached to this coil. Now, if you test test this coil now, obviously there's there's no flux, so there's no there's no voltage coming out of that. Okay, so this is my discovery. I'm just going to set it up here now. Um, we're set for um, volts, DC volts, and we'll set it on microvolts. Now I'm going to be doing a bit of jerking around because what I'm going to do. I hope I can get this right. You just bear with me a second. I'm, I'm going to get this this rope and I'm going to swing it round. Yeah? So all I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, is just swing it in an arc of about, well, it's only about a two foot arc because I haven't got much ceiling height here. But if you watch, you watch this microvolts here, you'll see that uh, when I swing it, you'll get, you'll get a voltage. When I stop swinging, there'll be no voltage. So, if the... I don't know what to do. I think I might just try, before I swing it, I might just try to um, put my phone so that it'll record it. Bear with me here, folks. It's, it's very, a bit awkward to set up to do this. Um, so, hopefully I can do it. Um... Maybe if I put that on its side like that, you'll be able to see. That's probably the best way of doing it. Um, the things never work out when you want them to, do they? And then you've got daylight. Oh dear, dear. You've got light on it and everything. I'm, I'm doing my best, dear, so... <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Right, I'm just going to put something to hold the camera, wedge the camera in position here. Hopefully. Now if you stop there, right, <clears throat> right then, okay, uh, uh, what's going on, I hope you, you know there's light in it isn't there, 
Sorry about this, I'm doing my, I'm doing my absolute best here. There's a bit of light on it now, but when I move the magnet, when I move it, there's a voltage, yeah? So, and I don't have to move it much, I'm just moving it with my hand. But anyway, I'm, I'm just moving it, obviously I'm moving it in space now. But now I'm, I'm going to start <laughs> making a circular motion with the magnet on this, um, <laughs> the end of this piece of uh, rope. Uh, I won't be able to do it very fast, but it'd be perhaps about, f I don't know, five revolutions uh, a minute at about, I don't know, about half a metre. Right? It's going now, it's going about. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm swinging it around and it's, it's. I've stopped now. Now I've stopped. And the voltage has stopped. I'll do it once more so I can sort of prove that I'm just. That's uh, Now I'm just moving it to and fro now. And it's just generating a little bit of stuff as you'd expect to and fro, but it's, it's actually generating stuff that I didn't think it would do it. Um, I suppose what I ought to do as well is think about north, south, the North Pole and that, but I, I can only just do it in one plane at the moment. I'm going to start swinging it again. Now it's starting to go again. Yeah, I can't do it that fast, but it's got it's gener generated a small voltage. And um, I hope you saw that, folks. I, it wasn't brilliant. But, hi again everybody, DC here, um, for some reason the, the mobile phone just dropped out then, uh, maybe it's something to do with the uh, magnetic flux, I don't know, but um, from a very simple experiment this morning with just a simple magnet and a copper coil strapped to the magnet, um, I'm trying to, to understand how this coil uh, is uh, generating voltage uh, even though it's only um, the magnetic field's not cutting through the the magnetic field is not cutting through the coil is it and I can't understand where that voltage is coming from um, any comments would be welcome and um, I do think that this could be linked to the uh, the N machine there's a, a guy I've forgotten his name now Robert De Palma or something like that and um, he's got a, an N machine which from what I can gather it's rotating magnetic fields at right angles to one another and that's to do with coils as well so maybe that I've just proved the fact that that works um, it's work in progress um, but Again, it all stems from the Faraday, um, Far Faraday's paradox is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, interesting um, this morning. I do feel that, um, for me anyway, that it, it, it confirms Nikola Tesla's ether. Um, you know, um, it does. We're, 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 we're in the ether, but we don't know it. <laughs> All right, that's DC signing out for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, we'll probably meet again if you've got the interest and I'm doing some interesting experiments. Thank you. Bye.